Hello there, Tucson Blade fans and followers of This Old Sword Blade Reviews. This Old Sword is back, and as I mentioned, I got kind of a run of Tucson knives happening. Uh, I got three in the other day, and uh, <clears throat> one or two in a few days before that, so got to review them. And here we have a beauty that is quite unusual. The TS-248 by Max Tachuk, designer. And Max is noted for a number of Tucson designs as well as um, Kubi and <clears throat> I'm thinking Best Tech as well. So uh, a prolific designer. And uh, yeah, he's, um, he's churning them out. And look what we've got is a dagger design don't see that too often even with Tucson and Tucson is open to some unusual designs they don't shy away from things that are out of the ordinary but look at that beautiful dagger spear point uh, blade it is a little asymmetrical ever so slightly <clears throat> that grind lines a little bit high has to be um, basically because it's a folder, I would have to imagine. And you got an interesting choke up here, uh, forward finger choil on a dagger. The only other place I've seen that recently is on the Best Tech Fin, and you can check out that review. I love that knife. <clears throat> this is just premium materials all the way around. Uh, it is a Sandvik blade, 14C, 28N. And let's see, uh, you can see that in fine print right there next to Max's logo. Got Tucson on that side. So this knife is not very heavily billboarded. But for a dagger, extremely useful, uh, aggressive jimping for your thumb. Nice thumb ramp. And even here on the frame. Um, you can choke right up and pinch that with both fingers and lock the uh, middle finger in there. And you're not going anywhere on that knife. <clears throat> and it's a good size knife. You've got plenty of handle. We're going to do the measurements in a moment. Got a nice satin finish on the Sandvik. I'm starting to see more stone wash come through, but decent job on the, uh, on the, the brushed finish here. Got a very neat micro texture on the handle with these lines frame lock folder hardened steel insert all the usual <clears throat> nice detailed back strap here with the X's max uh, logo if you look at it has the uh, skull and crossbones so I'm wondering if that's kind of a thing for him is to do the uh, the X's like a crossbones. Have a decent deep carry clip uh, for titanium that goes pretty far down there, which is nice. Let's uh, put the tape to it <clears throat> and see what we come up with. Overall length of eight and a half inches, pretty much right on. Got a blade length coming up on three and seven eighths and a sharpened length of three and a half because of that pronounced finger choil. Banging stuff around here. Handle 0.62 inches but well contoured, very rounded. Blade thickness 3.7 millimeters. And a weight, wait for the weight. Just about four ounces, a hair over four ounces, 4.01. So not bad for a knife that is that long with almost a four inch blade. Uh, plenty to work with here. Uh, action. For a lighter blade because of the double grind, um, not bad. I think I might have loosened it a little bit 
and put a little KPL on that pivot. <clears throat> Could be more drop shutty if you wanted it that way. Otherwise, one flip to close it. Do some comparisons. So to give you some scale, let's start big. With the rat one, of course. Oh no, it's not giving up too much to the rat one. Got a blade a little bit longer, yeah. Handle a little shorter, that's all. Overall, very close. And do I have a griptilian here? Sure we do. It's going to be bigger than the griptilian. Um, although the griptilian's got a good size handle, so it's spot on with the handle. Uh, definitely about a half inch or better longer in the blade than the griptilian. Okay, amalgam time. <laughs> Getting to be a regular thing. Don't worry, I'll carry something new next week. Uh, amalgam. Longer handle, for sure. Blade. Very close. Almost identical. So, uh, that's an interesting thing. And I think... The finger choil here certainly helps us choke up. It also makes the blade look a little shorter than it really is because we're I'm measuring the blade from there. Um, ergo wise, it's comfortable. Knives with a palm swell in the middle generally are always comfortable for me. It um, it's thinner top to bottom, shorter, whatever you want to call that. And especially since it narrows down pretty drastically towards the pommel, you know, you've got some left over there. So as large as the handle is on the uh, amalgam, this is not a short handle. And um, love that jimping there. So for a knife that's kind of artsy and maybe not something you think you'd use, um, we talk about flat grinds and um, fine edges and all of that. Well, these are obviously ground from the center out, and you only got an edge on one side. But these two suns with Sandvik steel, <laughs> they come through very sharp. Very sharp. I've had blades with higher grinds um, kind of fail that paper cut test. This one just razored right through it. So, you know, for the money, and I think we're talking White Mountain Knives, um, I'm going to guess this was, because I got a bunch of them in, I forget the prices, but this came from White Mountain and 10% um, discount and so forth. Um, don't forget Old Sword as your discount code up at um, White Mountain Knives. Justin will take very good care of you. Um, I think you can get these for 65 to 75, somewhere in that range. I don't think it's much more than that. And you're getting titanium and 14C28 with a beautiful grind. Just excellent knife. It's different while at the same time being quite substantial. So there you go. That is the TS-248, which doesn't have a name that I'm aware of. If you know of a name, go ahead and throw it in the comments. And don't forget to give this vid a like and subscribe if you have not already. This old sword, signing out.